Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss about the calculation of IV infusion rate and loading dose for drug salts. Generally, many of the drugs are given by oral route as well as IV route, but few of the drugs are given by the IV infusion, which are either having short duration of action, otherwise which require a continuous administration into the body in order to treat the particular physiological disorder. For example, a small LSA one of a beta blocker which is short acting that is given by IV infusion. Similarly, adenosine is one of the fast acting antiarrhythmic agent which is used to terminate the supraventricular tachycardia. And few of the antiarrhythmics like the procainamide is again given by the IV infusion in order to treat the atrial fibrillation. So under the emergency conditions, we can administer the drugs by IV infusion. But most of the times the drugs are administered as their salts by IV infusion. So today in this video, let us discuss how we can calculate the infusion rate and loading dose for such type of drug salts. Drugs given as their salts by IV infusion. Let us take one practical example. A drug with volume of distribution as 50 liters is given by IV infusion to maintain the steady state plasma concentration as 25 microgram per ml. But it is given as a hydrochloride salt with salt value as 0.85. Calculate the loading dose and the rate of infusion required if the elimination rate constant is 0.4 or inverse. So here the drug concentration required in the plasma is 25 microgram per ml. So this steady state is to be achieved for the drug. But the drug is not directly given. Instead, the drug salt is given which is having a salt value of 0.85. Now the drug is required to treat the particular condition and the desired steady state plasma concentration of the drug is the 25 microgram per ml but the drug in the question is somewhat less soluble so it is not administered directly as IV infusion instead we are going to take a salt of the drug the hydrochloride form of the drug is going to be taken and which is given by the IV infusion so when this uh, hydrochloride salt of the drug is given by IV infusion we can achieve the 25 microgram per ml of the drug concentration in the plasma so here why we are going to use a hydrochloride form because when the drug is going to be converted into salt form we can improve the water solubility so hydrochloride form of the drug is more soluble compared with the drug itself so during the iv infusion we can use the salts of the drugs which are having the more solubility but interestingly drug salts are not equivalent to the plain drugs quantitatively so we have to apply some correction factor while we are going to calculate the rate of infusion and loading dose. Now let us see how we can solve this given problem. So the drug is given as a hydrochloride form and the desired steady state plasma concentration is 25 microgram per ml. So first step is the calculation of the rate of infusion of the drug. How we can calculate the rate of infusion? We know one of the equation for the IV infusion, the steady state plasma concentration CSS is equal to Q by CL where Q is the rate of infusion and CL is the clearance. So this equation can be rearranged such that we are getting the rate of infusion. So the rate of infusion Q is equal to CSS into clearance. And we already given with the CSS value which is 25 microgram per ml. But the clearance is not given in the data. And we know that the clearance is equal to KE into VD. So now we substitute in this equation, the rate of infusion Q is equal to CSS into K into VD. So by using this equation, we can calculate the rate of infusion of the drug in pure form. The CSS is given as 25 microgram per ml. This can also be written as 25 mg per liter. We are converting the microgram to the milligram and milliliter to the liter. So 25 microgram per ml is nothing but 25 mg per liter. K is given as 0.4 R inverse and VD is the 50 liters. Now let us substitute the values in this equation. Now Q is equal to 25 into 0.4 into 50. So which on solving will get 500 mg per hour. So the rate of infusion is the 500 mg per hour. But this value belongs to the pure form of the drug because the volume of distribution and elimination rate constant are related to the pure form of the drug. So here the rate of infusion of the pure form of the drug is 500 mg per hour. But actually we are going to administer the drug as a drug salt. We are giving the hydrochloride form of the drug by IV infusion, which is not equivalent to the pure form of the drug. So we have to apply a correction factor. So second step is applying the correction factor for the drug salt. 
So we have given a salt value as 0.85, which indicates that 0.85 mg of the drug is equal to 1 mg of the drug salt. Then if we require 500 mg per hour of rate of infusion of the drug, then how much will be the rate of infusion of the drug salt? So it is nothing but 1 by 0.85 into 500, which on solving we will get 588.24 mg per hour. So the rate of infusion is 588.24 mg per hour, which is uh, more compared with the pure form of the drug. Similarly, third one is the calculation of the loading dose of the drug. How we can calculate the loading dose? The loading dose DL is equal to CSS into VD, the steady state concentration into volume of distribution. The steady state concentration CSS is given as 25 microgram per ml, which can be written as 25 mg per liter and volume of distribution is 50 liters. So again, by substituting these values in the equation, the loading dose DL is equal to 25 into 50, which is nothing but 1250 milligram. So this loading dose is corresponding to the, the loading dose of the pure form of the drug. So again, this is not equivalent to the drug salt. So we have to apply the correction factor. So let us apply the correction factor for the drug salt. The salt value is 0.85. So 0.85 mg of the drug is equivalent to 1 mg of the drug salt. 1250 mg of the drug will be equivalent to 1 by 0 0.85 into 1250 which is nothing but 1470.56 mg of the drug salt. So we have to administer a loading dose of 1470.56 in order to achieve the desired steady state concentration. You can see a large difference is there between the pure form of the drug and drug salt. The loading dose of the pure form of the drug is 1250 mg whereas the drug salt is 1470.56 which is comparatively more than the loading dose of the pure form of the drug. So if we are not applying this correction factor, we will not get the desired plasma concentration which may affect the therapeutic activity of the drug. In this way, we can apply the correction factor in order to calculate the rate of infusion and uh, loading dose. Now let us go with a few of the examples. Working example 1. If the loading dose of a drug is 250 mg, then how much will be the loading dose of its sodium salt to achieve the same concentration in the plasma? Salt value of the drug is 0.75. So here we have to calculate the loading dose of uh, its sodium salt. So let us see the data given. The loading dose of the drug is given as 250 mg. This is the loading dose of the plain drug. And what are the salt values given as 0.75? Now we have to calculate the loading dose of the sodium salt of the drug. So let us see the solution to this working example one. We have given the salt value as 0.75. What this indicates? This indicates that 0.75 mg of the drug is equivalent to 1 mg of the drug salt form. But here the loading dose is the 250 mg. So for 250 mg of loading dose of the drug, how much amount of the loading dose of the drug salt is required? So this is nothing but 1 by 0.75 into 250. So which on solving we will get 333.3 mg of the drug salt is required as a loading dose in order to produce the same plasma concentration. The loading dose of the normal drug is 250 mg but its salt is 333.3 mg that means it is it is the greater than the dose of the plain drug because the salts cannot release the 100% of the drug. So we need the more dose in order to produce the same plasma concentration. So this 333.3 is the corrected loading dose of the drug salt. Similarly, let us take another example. Calculate the rate of infusion of sulfate salt of a drug that is required to achieve same plasma concentration observed with the 400 mg of the drug given by infusion at a rate of 12 mg per hour. The salt value is 0.82. So here we have to calculate the rate of infusion by applying the salt value. So let us see what is the data given. The dose of the drug is given as 400 mg. This is not the loading dose. This is the total dose of the drug that is given by the IV infusion. That is the 400 mg. And here the rate of infusion of the drug is given as 12 mg per hour. And salt value is given as 0.82. And we have to calculate the rate of infusion of the sulfate form of the drug. So let us see the solution to this working example 2. The salt value is given as 0.82. Again it indicates. 0.82 mg of the drug is equivalent to 1 mg of the drug sulfate. But what is the rate of infusion of the drug? The drug is given at a rate of infusion of 12 mg per hour 
so for the plain drug the infusion rate is 12 mg per hour then what will be the rate of infusion for the drug sulfate so it will be again 1 by 0 0.82 into 12 so which on solving it gives the 14.63 mg per hour again you can observe that for the plain drug the infusion rate is 12 mg but when it is given as a sulfate form the infusion rate is high because the salt cannot release the 100 percent of the drug so at a sulfate form it should be given at a infusion rate of 14.63 mg per hour so this is the corrected infusion rate of the drug sulfate in this way by using the salt form correction factor we can calculate the exact loading dose and infusion rates for the salt forms of the drugs because at most of the times drugs are not equivalent to the salt forms and even the different salts of the drugs are again not equivalent so we have to apply this correction factor in order to accurately calculate the loading dose infusion rate and plasma concentrations so that's about the salt value in the pharmacokinetics hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video